right down there, hey? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of cool how when you remove the lyrics, you can just operate inside of the melody and mm -hmm. get emotional. Yeah. yeah. All right, Hello. we're back for another episode of Sound Culture. I'm Tim. And I'm Brendan Green. And we're talking about Andrew Bird today. Mm -hmm. So we decided uh, that it would be fun to talk about Andrew Bird's Echolocation series, specifically the River album, which is the second album in his five album series. Mm -hmm. That's right, yeah. And again, this is another one that Brendan recommended to me, so thank you, Brendan, for <laughs> suggesting My it. pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this one's kind of a fun album. He he does a lot of really interesting things. I'll, maybe I'll let you kind of speak to it, Brendan. Well, yeah, in, in, in this, it's, I mean, first off, it's a very emotional album. You listen mm -hmm. to this, and it's not quite like anything mm -hmm. else you've ever heard. It's got a lot of violin in it, but it doesn't sound like you're listening to somebody who's playing a, a symphony. It mm -hmm. uh, has incredible dynamics in it, and mm -hmm. this is one of those albums that I would recommend everybody listen to with headphones. And mm -hmm. better yet, try closing your eyes, and you'll be able to feel the music right next to you. Yeah. Um, they, they do just an amazing job with, with dynamics and, and the moods in, in the mm -hmm. songs, especially. So, yeah, yeah it's really, really unique. And, and like we were talking about a little bit earlier, when there's no lyrics in general, um, mm -hmm. you get to focus on the melody, and that's, mm -hmm. what, that's what makes this so interesting, I think. Another thing that's really... Uh, kind of cool about this album and about Andrew Bird's style is that when he filmed, or rather he recorded these albums, he was taking specific, site-specific locations. So this one's called Athley Rivers because he mm -hmm. recorded it in a river. Mm -hmm. And so the acoustics and the frequencies and the sonics and all that stuff, like, which I'm not as technical as Brendan, but all that stuff, he's trying to construct the album based off of what sort of sounds naturally come through yeah that's his motivation is to just sit out in nature and just absorb what's around you and then mm -hmm. just see what comes out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you can you can listen to this album and you'll note that there is site specific sounds that are happening there yeah you'll notice that there's water dripping in some of the songs mm -hmm. and it literally feels like you're sitting in a forest or some area mm -hmm. and you yeah. do a great job of it yeah, yeah. Uh, another thing that I really liked uh, that and Mr. Andrew Bird said about this album and about his production um, is that he doesn't use a producer to record. He actually mm -hmm. self-produces, and he the reason why he says that is because he thinks it's uh, it creates a situation where you're premeditating the the work in a kind of bad way. It, it ends up polishing the album. And yeah, there's it something feel... that can be lost when right. you have an idea and then mm -hmm. you put endless amounts of resources into it, and what mm -hmm. comes out it could be a little bit. Of a worn down version of what w the true essence that yeah it well and you would with. know that because <laughs> as a musician and producing like you can see how that happens right like, yeah there's a big difference between a live performance <laughs> and a polished record absolutely yeah mm -hmm. so this one is kind of neat in the sense that he the, a lot of the content is very raw he didn't uh, adapt it mm -hmm. um, he recorded it on site I think he used like a field mic or something yeah yeah that's right mm -hmm. yeah so. And uh, one thing that I, I really like, the first time I heard this album, I said, it feels like there's two melodies that are in a relationship with each other, almost. Mm -hmm. There's there's two violin, it's usually strings that are following each other, and they just go through all these twists and turns, and mm -hmm. it's like they're kind of having a conversation with one another. So uh, it's, it's really easy to pay attention to those two melodies, and it's really easy to get almost hypnotized by it because you, yeah you hear a lot of things that you don't in regular songs you hear some really cool effects that they use on the violin they play some some staccato sounding notes and they use mm -hmm. uh, the violin in percussive ways and whatnot so it's really you listen to it and you know, hear some interesting things that you may not have heard before yeah and I think it's it is predominantly violin he's playing right he mm -hmm. doesn't he doesn't change much into other instruments right yeah and he does all kinds of things with that violin if you, <laughs> if you think about it yeah so that's actually a really good point because you'll listen to this and you'll think you're listening to like you said a symphony mm -hmm. or uh even just a, a small band with a bunch of different instruments but it's literally just this one guy with this one instrument creating mm -hmm. all these amazing sounds absolutely <laughs> yeah um okay so i wanted to mention a couple other things so what I also thought was really interesting is that, so this one is called Rivers, and the first one was called Canyons. The next couple ones he's doing, um, one is in like a heartland, kind of badland, uh, open field area. And then mm -hmm. the one after that is, uh, what's it called, um, Fog Bank? I don't know if that's the actual title of the album, but it sounds like it's going to be more of a um, layered... Uh, 
uh, there's going to be air, and there's going to be a lot of like smoke and fog and things of that nature. So it'll be interesting to see how he changes mm. these different um, acoustic realms for the next two albums. Cause yeah, and I believe they're already recorded, or they're almost finished and mm -hmm. uh, we should be expecting to see them soon but yeah you just think about what comes what image comes to mind when you think about the title of the album and yeah that's probably what you'll be feeling when you yeah hear. you'll come come out of it and say okay so this is what it feels like to be in a fog yeah so. absolutely uh, I don't know if you have any other thoughts, Brandon, but I think... Um, well, I mean, going back to just saying how, how emotional the album is, mm -hmm. um, there is, there, in music, there's there's major, there's minor, mm -hmm. more or less happy or sad types of songs, and mm -hmm. they have this way of making those just sound so <laughs> happy or yeah. so, not necessarily depressing, but just... Uh, yeah. Just really, really emotional, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they do a, just a fantastic job of manipulating moods, and mm -hmm. um, it's great music to to sort of work to. You know, yeah. if you're like doing the dishes or something, and yeah. having it in the background is extremely relaxing. And yeah, I it's, highly recommend it. Yeah. It's it's not going to create a situation where you're being disrupted by the music. The music kind of enhances whatever you're doing. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, that's a good point. So uh, that said, I think this is definitely an album you should listen to and it mm -hmm. came out uh, again this past year so it's fairly fresh and yeah I don't and support your indie artists out <laughs> there you know this yeah. guy is extremely talented yeah and you could really use your support 100 <laughs> uh so that's sound culture listen thanks for watching thanks mm -hmm. for watching